Hey guys, um, so <clears throat> end of the week now, um, just want to kind of recap um, some trades that basically went on. Um, so we had Aussie CAD, um, potentially around about 8% that could have been banked here. So uh, definitely and still running. So there's still quite a lot of potential for it to go. But at the moment, you know, running around about 8%. This is where I would have taken some entries. Um, definitely all missed entries for me. USD Swiss, um, to be honest, nothing of a real concern i would have looked for a rejection around about here but we didn't get anything could be eyeing up this section here now for a potential reversal but still a bit way off and it's coming up to friday um definitely was a few entries in here as well uh the entry that i would have well i did actually take this entry but i ended up closing it on a break even around about here um uh, probably my mistake um i had to go drive so um, I was out of that trade, so uh, it was about 23 pip stop loss, would have been running around about 2.5-ish um, to this low, and then I would have been very aggressive at this point, so probably locked in around about 1.73, whatever, doesn't really matter, but here. So uh, that's it for Euro, Euro pairs. Um, Euro CAD was eyeing this up as well. Um, essentially, I had this on originally for the forecast, and I realized that this could be the inflection point over here, so had it on like this and then when that rejection came in the trade would have been here um obviously i wasn't by the screen so i couldn't have taken it but around about 28 pip would have been about suitable for me um and i would have taken the trade in here um what main the main thing i would have really looked at it doesn't really matter about this angle so much um it's kind of just more so how do i be involved in this and i don't think there's there's really a perfect angle to be drawing i mean um more so i'll just be looking at it like this but would i want to really be in this trade not really i mean it looked good before but at the moment it's a bit too messy so it's not a trade i'd really want to take um but definitely that retrace there is of interest on the one hour as well um probably around about that yeah for sure around about 36 pips would not be uh not be too bad as well um is there enough room to manage it to the low contemplatable um but that's it really the rest of the pairs not really much entry um no major surprise i mean this was a trade that i was contemplating for a long term play so i saw this is the larger flag um traded there and then basically take up the next flag over here and then that's the next low trade below there to the upside and you know i think like i said gp has long term underrated pair said in one of the previous videos this is going to be a sick pair. It's just going to go, and then we're going to look back on it and be like, wow. Okay, so um, that's something to look at. Obviously, if with this huge stop loss, it's only 3.3%. But um, obviously, this is something of a longer-term trade with a lot of scaling opportunity. So, you know, this can even easily bank you over 100% over the time. So um, these are the sort of trades that, you know, um, are come once every couple of years. So, um, yeah. I mean, this is awesome, um, and that's it for this week. So I'm going to start doing my Friday market breakdown now, and then uh, I'll post that video as well.